What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So this week we're going to check out an extension that allows you to create complex shapes like tensile structures and other faces across points within SketchUp. Before I get started, I want to thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So big thank you to Anne Mundell, Rama Wawa, Frank de Block Burge, Zico de Deus, and Deal. Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So uh, one of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. This week's extension, voted on by my Patreon supporters, is NZ Surface. Plugin name, NZ Surface. Plugin developer, Natalie Zapia. Plugin cost, $12. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Note that this extension has a one day free trial, so if you wanna download it and give it a try, you can do that through the 3D warehouse as well. Tool functions. This extension is designed to help you create complex geometries using a series of points. Basically, the way it works is you designate a number of points and the extension can generate a face to fill in between those points. This could be especially useful for filling holes in your models, modeling tensile structures, creating complex new geometry, and more. Basically, it's divided up into two different functions, the surface tool and the surface inflatables tool. The surface tool allows you to dictate a number of points, which will then generate a surface based on those points. The tool allows you to create faces based on different numbers of points within your model. You can adjust the number of subdivision iterations within the settings, allowing the creation of more organic shapes or less geometry intensive shapes depending on what you're trying to do. The centroid option sets the way that the center of the shape is handled. Generally, the natural tries to center the shape around the middle of the points you've selected, while the manual option allows you to set this point yourself. The texture options actually don't refer to applying SketchUp textures, but rather they refer to the finishing of the geometry, allowing you to create thickened shapes, roughened shapes, and more. Adjusting the texture size adjusts the strength of this effect. In addition, this extension also comes with a tool for creating inflated surfaces, much like soap, skin, and bubble, but with more control. It works generally the same way as the surface creation tool, but instead of creating a surface, it gives you an option for adjusting the belly and the profile of the shape, allowing you to adjust how far out the shape gets inflated. Overall, I think this is a very promising extension, especially in the field of tensile structure modeling. The ability to create complex faces based on different points is one of the key things in working with these structures, and I think this extension contains an interesting set of tools for doing that. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this something you're interested in? Can you think of some good uses for this extension? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.